Zane. Wasn't it obvious when you spoke to him? Renning deludes the Dark Council into believing he's advancing Sith knowledge. The truth is, he wastes the Empire's time and resources dissecting mindless animals. But if his experiments were discredited, he would be banished, and I would be rewarded. How exactly is telling me supposed to help? Look, just a minor alteration to the mutant Tukata's brain would allow me to reveal my master as a fraud. Bring me the brain before delivering it to Lord Renning, and I'll make it worth your while. Betraying your master carries considerable risk. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. For both of us. The mutant Takata escaped to the tomb of Mark of Ragnos. It's much larger than the others, so it's easy to spot. Return to me with the brain before you see Lord Renning, and I'll take care of the rest. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Just open, damn it! Have you recovered the mutant Tukata brain yet? I'm eager to conclude the business we discussed. It's right here. Have it. Excellent. This chemical will make it appear as though Renning is falsifying his research. There. All that remains is for me to whisper the right words in the wrong ears. I'm transferring credits to your account now. Give Renning the brain and collect his reward too. You've made out quite well. Can I aid your clever machinations in some other way? You've been more than useful. Perhaps another time. We shouldn't be seen speaking again. Lord Renning might suspect us. Give him the brain. With the brain at last. Excellent work. I trust it wasn't too much trouble. The creature was hardly a match for my power. Of course. After all, you're an expression of the Dark Side's will, too. I must continue my research at once. Great discoveries await. Take a reward and go. Don't forget who helped you achieve this victory. Yes, yes, you may stop talking now. Goodbye. You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. <laughs> Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? No, Overseer. No objections. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? I don't really think about it one way or the other. I did as I was told. You are lucky Lord Zash finds you useful. Now for your trial. The last, darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead Lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. Is there a reason you keep sending me into the tombs? Lord Zash's research is her own business and no one else's, you're not fit to know. Any other stupid questions? Don't you just hate how the sand on Korriban gets in everything? You are begging for death, slave. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave! I have need of you, young one. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. 
as you say. I am Inquisitor Eurinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner, a spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. Upon capture, we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. Look no further. I am your Sith. Good. I'm pleased that you appreciate our project. You are young enough, new enough, to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks, earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. How do I know you won't accuse me of treason? Prove your strength. Prove that you are truly Sith. And all the accusations in the world will mean nothing. You will find the Jedi Quarry and Dorgis in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. There's no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I'm Corian Dorgis. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? I want the Jedi to see you broken and despair. Is that my fate? To be a symbol of your triumph? Better than staying here, I suppose. You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? The Inquisitors are messing with your mind. They pumped you full of drugs. I suspected as much. It's so hard to think straight. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go. Come closer, Acolyte. The wind outside has torn my ears to tatters, and my eyes grow strained and bloody in the dark. I've studied this tomb for years, slept on its stones and dreamed of its depths. Now, I need assistance to solve its final mystery. If you have secrets to share, I would learn them. Then listen to me, and to my story. Listen close. This tomb is the final resting place of Tulak Horde. The tomb's maze was built to his precise specifications. But he built his maze to hold more than just his body. He built it to secure his greatest creation, his terrible machine, the Red Engine. Why are you telling me this? Because I need you. The machine needs you. The machine was his life's work. A perfect puzzle that hid all his secrets. It was a vault and a library all at once. The scholars in the academy, they say the Red Engine was never completed. They say it never functioned. But I know how it works. And I know how to fuel it. What do you mean, fuel it? Listen now. Anyone can activate the Red Engine, but unless it receives its sacrifice, it will only sputter and die. The machine needs blood and hatred to become fully operational. If a Sith could slay the tomb's beast in its presence, their deaths would be its fuel. Find the machine within the tomb, work its mechanisms. And when at last it reveals Tulak Horde's secrets, I beg of you. Bring me its scripture. Bring me the knowledge I have dreamed of. Those blasted mining droids were tougher than I thought. I'm not going to make it, but I hope whoever is watching this will honor me. Escaped slaves stole weapons from the Academy. I fled into this tomb. They've reprogrammed the mining droids. Without those droids, the slaves won't survive. Tried to take them down myself. Didn't work out. Destroy enough rogue droids, and the slaves will die. 
teach them. Not